Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to customize your Payhip store. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to your Payhip store, which in this case, go to your official website, which is going to payhip.com and log into your account. Now, for us to start customizing our Payhip store, we first need to access our actual store. So at the top section, you have dashboard, product, and store. Let's go and click on store. Now from here, we need to click on the launch your store builder. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, it will actually launch your builder store builder here, which in this case, you will be able to access tools to manage your store. As you can see, I've already set this up. So how do we actually start organizing or customizing it? Well, first, we first need to understand different sections. So on the left side, we have our sections. So section signifies what we first see. So actually, I added this section here, which in this case actually adds a header or an intro to my uh, product page here or our home page. So in this case, I want to actually delete this. Let's go and click on the tree dotted icon next to the section here. I want to click on delete section, click on yes, delete. Now, this will actually update my website and I actually now have one my, uh, one, my one product here. So in this case, uh, we could actually position things here. Like for example, if I want to move the about me section at the top here above the collection section, it should show me the about, about me at the very top. But then again, I want to actually show my collection here and I want to actually uh, uh, show users or uh, basically have a landing uh, section first. Let's go and click on add section here. And this actually allows us to add a section. So there's obviously going to be a lot of sections that you could use. So for example, I want to use this one. Let's go ahead and click on it. And you can choose whatever image you want to uh, basically use for this one. You can go ahead and click on replace or even remove if you want to. You can use the settings icon here to add description or describe your image here if you want to. And you could even change the heading for this section. You have the uh, text itself if you want to change this section here. If you want to uh, change the tech button text here, as you can see, by default, it's going to be shop now. You can change the button link here. So it will actually, by default, it's going to be redirecting us to the all product section. You can change a number of things here, like the banner height, desktop content alignment, desktop show container, button sides, and a lot of those details. So in this case, if you want to change those uh, things or further customize it to your liking, you can go ahead and do that. But the most important section is by, is by clicking on the save changes at the very top here. So that we'll be able to save our changes. Once you've done that, you can go and go back. Now, since we already add, added a section here, we now make we want to make it actually uh, look like at the very top. So in this case, hover over that section and your icon or your mouse should change. Press and hold on it and you want to actually make it at the very top. As you can see, we now have an intro to our shop here. Now, in this case, again, you could go ahead and add whatever here, change your footer. So whenever you click on your footer, you'll have the option to change the font size, the payment icons. If you want to show those, you show uh, social icons powered by pay if you want to actually hide it. You could go ahead and click on no here instead. So you have the section hide as well if you want to customize it and the custom section hide as well. So you can make it make it a lot bigger or even a lot smaller if you want to, depending on uh, your preference here. So in this case, what are the other things that we could do here? So let's go and click on save changes first. And in this case, go and go back. Now, the great thing about pay here, here is you actually, you could actually change different pages. So by default, we have our uh, all collection page here as our home page, but you could go to the contact page here as well. If you want to uh, basically customize the look for your contact page. And if you want to change the look of your product page, you can choose the product sample or the product section here or in this case, uh, customize your actual product. Now, if you want to add new pages or custom pages, you could go and click on the plus button here, G, uh, add the page title, and basically start customizing that specific table uh, 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 page that you want to add. Now, in this case, what are the other things that we could do here? So for example, I want to actually click on the uh, option here for uh, the gear icon. So you could actually set this as a home page if you want to. So let's just go back into our collection page here. So once in here, you could go ahead and click on header and change your navigation links or your store logo if you want to, your headings, uh, header settings, like the logo, uh, the layout, header width, fixed position if you want to, and vertical padding. So if you want to click on yes here, it will actually fix the position of your header. As you can see, it's going to be sticky at the very top here. So yeah, 
So in this case, uh, that's how you customize your PAPE store, and that's about it. So, hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.